It all started back when he first started coaching. We just finished the job by getting that thousand win on that day. But it, it goes back way in history to his kids and uh, recent kids that graduated from here, pros, legends, you know. Like, we was just focusing on, that was the first goal, is getting his 1,000 win, and then we look on to the next goal by getting a state championship. You know, we practice every day hard, two hours. Coach really expects the best out of you. If you don't go hard, he's in you 24-7. And it's like, just take it, because what he says is very, it's very, very powerful. The knowledge that he gives you, it helps you in life, not only in basketball, but in like society today. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, happy to be a part of a thousand win. Uh, we, put, we put a lot of work in just to get him his a thousand win. That's why. Well, it all starts in school because he always tell us that we should have a good day in school. and we have a good day in school, then it, it relates to basketball. Once you step in the gym, after school, a hard day, teachers, homework, you know, you feel like a good experience like when you walk into the gym because you're with your family, with your friends, because we on the team we're not friends, we're family. We have to love each other and look out for one each other. But in practice, it's very hard. Everybody's battling for a spot. Everybody wants that one goal, and that's the state championship. We practice hard. We have to because, like we, we say every day, St. Pat's is not slacking. They're not, they're not taking any days off. We just got to be men and handle these things. Practice is very fun, though. Because once Coach Haley gets the drills going and like everybody gets into it, we get all happy, we get excited, especially when the big play comes down, we, we have fun. And the most important thing that he always do to tell us is that you gotta have you gotta be mentally and physically ready. Especially after a hard drill when a bunch of running, he makes a shoot a free throw. We miss the free throw, we run on the line. Every if both people miss free throw, both people run it. But you just gotta have the physical, mental and physical fit. Because once you have that, then you should be good in, in his eyes. Uh, the transition for me has been great. Uh, I came to St. Anthony's. I'm learning a lot of new things. Coach Hurley and the coaching staff are teaching me uh, about a lot of defense, on the ball, off the ball, how to become a better point guard, and uh, things of that nature. So he's been, him and the coaching staff have been a great, uh, has been great to me. Uh, we just gotta keep them when they're on the call with us. We just gotta talk to them and keep them comfortable. Uh, what they're doing, just keep their confidence high, just just keep talking to them and just, uh, that's it. Well, for me, <clears throat> being a leader, like, I like I also listen to Miles and some of the other seniors, and like, I try to lead, I try to lead from experience because I know me being here four years, you know, on the varsity for like two and a half, it's been hard because like, I always listen, to, I always did, thought that nobody can tell me anything. But like once I got here, I had to more, I had to listen to what people were telling me because that's how I got better. When I was following Cheeks and, the, and their uh, their wisdom and things like that on the court and Derek, like if you just help, because like I couldn't take what Coach Early was saying to me in the beginning. But as as I said before, when you listen to what he's saying to you, he's going to help you. And it's not that's what the young kids got to understand because they get frustrated when he yells and they can't take it. But just listen to him and you'll be all right. Uh, the recruit process for me was, was uh, kind of crazy. My last five schools was Rutgers, Miami, Connecticut, West Virginia, and, uh, and DePaul. I chose Rutgers because it was in-state, and uh, I see a lot of other players are staying at home just to play basketball. The state would love you to stay home to play if you're one of the top players. And the, the coaching staff there is great. Coach Rice, Coach Cox, and those guys uh, just brought me, in the, brought me in that wing and just recruiting me great and I just like the school. Well right now like I'm really looking towards Towson but I have to wait until after the season so I can make sure my grades and eligibility is up there. But most likely I'll probably be going to that school if the grades are right.